Well, uh, being a magnet hospital, there is 30 years of science that underpins the magnet program, and there are numerous benefits that have been documented by independent researchers about the benefits to the organization. So patient outcomes are improved in magnet organizations, and that has been well researched and documented. And those improvements lower cost, um, improve outcomes, and generally get patients in and out of the hospital sooner. For nurses, um, again, highly engaged nurse workforce it means lower retention better recruitment and the cost of turning over a nurse just in the United States is estimated to be roughly about $65,000 per nurse that leaves the organization so it's very expensive to lose nurses so magnet hospitals have much lower vacancy rates and much higher retention rates and then of course the organization benefits from having a highly engaged workforce that is collaborative and works with other professionals to improve ultimately patient outcomes, which is what the Magnet Program is all about. If you really want to be providing the best care and work in an organization that wants to do the best for its clients or its patients, um, that's kind of where, where you want to be. And so I think what Magnet brings to healthcare organizations is just that uh, taking it to the next level. They're always, um, you know, you may be here and you've be, been redesignated and then the standards change and they're lifting it up. I, um, again, I'm accountable for all things Magnet. So we have um, our shared nursing leadership structure here. Um, it's there's organizations that call it shared governance, but we call it shared nursing leadership here. We have five councils who look at professional practice, um, look at professional development. Uh, our advanced practice nurses have a council. Um, we look at quality and research and innovation and resource council. And so I help support and facilitate those councils. Um, in addition, I um, work closely with the CNO as it relates to various things um, that would impact the professional practice of nursing. Um, and, and again, representing um, nurses and making sure that we're at the table when decisions are being made about nursing care and nursing del um, care delivery. What I love most about my job is the ability or the, the, um, the opportunity to work with nurses to see something or to see the possibility. And I think that that's something that Magnet brings to organizations. There's a possibility that things could be better, that we could do things differently. And so I think that that's the difference between a Magnet organization and a non-Magnet organization. It provides a, an environment where nurses are able to make a difference and, ha and, and, sh um, and be a part of the change process itself. So one thing that I, um, um, had the privilege to work on over the last three years is our nursing strategic plan and so um, I, re I realized when I got into the, when I came into this position that we had a strategic plan um, but I, what I wanted to do differently this time was first of all um, encourage uh, staff nurses or clinical nurses to be involved in creating the plan and identifying how we implement and track and trend the metrics around the plan. And so um, we've created several different mechanisms and methods where we're tracking the, the metrics around the strategic plan. We've pulled in our shared nursing leadership um, councils and um, that relate to metrics that we're trying to improve. Um, and we've um, this plan actually ends um, next year. So um, I would say probably every metric, and we tried to make sure they were measurable metrics, um, we've seen improvements in. So that's something that I, I wouldn't say it's necessarily innovative, but it's innovative for us because it's something new. We've never done the strategic plan in that way before. Um, but I think um, if our clinical nurses can understand how our strategic plan is created and how it aligns with what the organization is trying to do, and then to actually see improvements, I think that that again lifts up the professional practice of nursing. We um, actually just had a retreat um, on Friday to look at our mentor program. So we've had a mentorship program here um, and it's gone through several iterations and so we actually had an off-site retreat on Friday and we invited uh, the majority of the nurses that participated were clinical nurses um, it, it ranged from new grad to anywhere from two to three years of experience and um, we asked them to kind of take a look at what we had previously take a look at what the literature is saying is best practice and take a look at what we need in terms of Magnet has identified several things that they are looking for around mentorship and so take a look at that and take a look at where we are and they actually came up with a plan that we're going to be rolling out and so um, again looking at what we call innovation again is something that was um, maybe not here before um, it, and it, but it's novel to us here at Children's National so we're hoping to have two levels of mentoring one for the new nurse 
um, and um, to have someone to help kind of navigate the system, kind of um, have an understanding of how to work within Children's National, and then a next level where it's more really working on growth and development, professional development, um, moving within or creating a career trajectory, a career trajectory um, and planning for that.